Hello, my name is Tim Bernard, and this is Beyond the Headlines, where we take a much different look at the world that is going on around us. Uh, there's no way I could report everything. This is just another venue for trying to uh, help people to uh, engage in the fight for literally our survival of our nation, of our uh, church, the fight for our very souls. This is the great battle between light and darkness. And remember, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Uh, there's far more information here on this website. Uh, my, I also have a religious website that's linked. I put up uh, generally about 50 articles a week on that. Uh, lately about every other day. Uh, but we got a lot to cover, so let's get rolling. Uh, this isn't the bought-off press. Uh, I don't have a script. Um, I'm also not paid a seven-figure salary. I'm not paid any salary. It actually costs me money and time, uh, and I have a full-time job, So, uh, but I still put in... Uh, these shows just don't materialize. The information doesn't materialize. Uh, you have to spend some time thinking about it, depending on what level you want to uh, be available at. At the very least, you should care about yourself. Uh, and then your family, and your friends, and then those around you, your neighbors, uh, workers. There, it looks like Hillary might be falling from the weight of all of her corruption. Uh, that doesn't mean uh, I'd put most of the people that are running for president uh, in jail. At the very least, they're liars or are not telling us the truth about many of the stories that we'll be covering uh, today. Uh, at some time I'll give you my own uh, t uh, thoughts on um, the presidential election as we get a little bit farther along uh, in today's show. Uh, of course, this is Hillary as Secretary of State uh, getting her jollies there, uh, and she would really like to get her jollies in the 747, the Mile High Club, uh, and not with men. But anyway... Uh, and there's been so much stuff with that email scandal. And of course, she's uh, pushing. This is one of her um, commercials, you know, just pushing her master's will, darkness. And it's not that they care about homosexuals. They're using them. They're just a pawn on the chessboard. Uh, and and all the scandals and everything that goes on, the amount of money, Benghazi. No one's telling you the truth about Benghazi. We've got some good stuff about that. Uh, the story behind it, you have, I mean, they're openly admitting uh, the stand down, the guys who were a part of it, but uh, there's far more to that story. And as we're coming up on the election, you know, they're all talking about the problems they had at last year's, or not last year's, but the last season in 2012 at the Iowa caucus where they stole the, the winner, who was Ron Paul. That's who won. But first they tried to say it was um, Romney, oh, then it was Santorum. I mean, this is so fake. The Republican establishment is, they all belong in jail. The Karl Roves, all of them. Because at best they're liars, if not traitors. Um, well, like Karl Rove said, I create reality. Uh, there's a great woman who showed some of, and uh, we went on, there was more um, stuff in uh, New Hampshire. And also in 2008, there was a bunch of shenanigans in uh, New Hampshire because of the Liebold, I mean, Diebold machines, they've, probably got a new name for him. I mean, we went into a ton of stuff on that. This is a great uh, documentary, this black box voting uh, by Bev Harris, who's a fraud investigator and a grandma right here in Seattle. Uh, so you can find, uh, just you know, do a little research. It's a free documentary on YouTube. Uh, I'd recommend it. And remember what Stalin said, it's not 
who votes that counts? It's who counts the votes. <laughs> and, and, and I've shown you so many things about that years ago, and, and I'm sure we'll get into shenanigans again. I mean, Bush lost both elections. Not that I was for uh, either Kerry or, um, what's his name, Gore. I mean, holy mackerel. Or, and last time, it, it appears that Obama lost the election last time, even though Romney, uh, who's a part of the system, he's not as corrupt and uh, wouldn't have been able to get as much accomplished as Obama has. And, uh, of course, as we see, um, Romney didn't say anything about it. He just took the loss and was a good little boy because he's made hundreds of millions of dollars. We've gone into stuff on him uh, back in the last election cycle. But we are the resistance, the V uh, that comes like from uh, the Vietnam era, for those of you who might have been around then, the peace sign. Also, um, going back to uh, World War II and the Vichy government, that's with a V, the Vichy government, the partisans used to just mark Vs in public places just to let people know that we know who the traitors are, and we know who the traitors are now, uh, because they're the ones who are selling out our country and the world, quite frankly. This is a book that the other side has written, because they just throw it right in our face. They know that most people don't read, don't care, even if they do know. The First Global Revolution, I have this on my website, and it tells you the page to go to if you think uh, this global warming, oh no, it's not global warming, it's a global cooling, um, no, that's right, that was 30 years ago. Well, that's right, it's climate change. And if you study history at all, the climate changes. <laughs> but hey, if it works, baby, go for it. You know. So anyway, we're coming from you here in Global District 1, FEMA District 10. You can look it up. This isn't something I made up. Uh, and, of course, we'll be coming to another cremation of care this summer uh, in front of the Stone Owl in Northern California where they do a mock sacrifice of a child. You think that might be news? They might ask uh, the Republicans if they've ever been there. Of course, most of them have, and some Democrats. Every Republican president in the 20th century has been there. Uh, this is from their own anal. Uh, this is the lake where they bring the child in in effigy. That's the altar with the boys dressed up in... Yeah, because this is an all-male thing. There was a... You can go to the downtown Seattle library unless it's been scrubbed. It was the only place literally in the country that I could find this article. And I went to New York uh, and, and all over the place. But in the downtown, it's Microfish, 1981, February... Like uh, 21st, 22nd, something like that, whatever the Sunday was. Uh, Trouble Comes to Paradise. It's about Bohemian Grove in the Parade Magazine. Uh, so if you're interested in doing some research. Um, the Pope, uh, he just never seems to let us down here as far as, um, I don't know. I pray for the guy every day. That's what I do. I pray for him. Uh, here he is at a, at a mosque. Uh, facing east, facing Mecca. Uh, hopefully he was thinking more of Jerusalem or something. I, I don't know. And uh, and this, this is a story from um, New York and Cardinal Dolan, who's a, I heard him famously say once that oh, there's no one to the right of me. I'm so conservative. Uh, this guy um, from letting uh, the homosexuals get into the St. Paddy's Day Parade, thinking it's all okay, or even wearing a rainbow sash, uh, getting rid of a priest from South Africa who was uh, doing a traditional mass in um, New York, uh, got him out, and then it wasn't until uh, some guys from Church Militant probably really started pushing it and uh, some of the concerned parishioners of this uh, clown here, the Bronx priest accused of a million dollar, uh, using a million dollars of church funds for an S&M love affair. 
uh, he finally did have to resign from the church, but uh, he didn't go easily. And, and this is the uh, traditional priest uh, from South Africa who was told to leave because, um, well, you know, he wasn't buff enough. But uh, anyway, this is what we were foretold. This is what was foretold. It's only going to get worse. But woe unto those who do nothing about this. Woe unto those who look the other way while this occurs and goes on. And we need to pray for our leaders. Because uh, at no time in human history has um, the devil been this powerful. Uh, and here we have a couple of other stories. Here's a, a guy... I mean, openly promoting homosexuality. Uh, that guy over there is a trainee. Father Daniel Fitzpatrick, an ordained Catholic priest, revealed to be a woman. Uh, I mean, holy mackerel. But there's good stories. Uh, National Geographic did a cover story re uh, reveals Mary's enduring appeal. And this is, uh, she will be held up as uh, and crush the head of Satan. This is the great miracle from down in Mexico, where she converted uh, Mexico. The Lord uses his mother in his kingdom as he sees fit. I have people always go, well, where is all this stuff written in the Bible? It starts out... In Genesis, goes on into Isaiah and some other ones, but Isaiah clearly talks about the Virgin. Uh, and then in the Gospels, it talks about uh, from Simeon, and the sword will pierce your heart, i.e. you're going to share in his passion, and uh, that she is the mother of the Savior. And get a grip, it also says that the kingdom has been given to him, to Christ. And so, he's, he can do whatever he wants. That's what it means to be sovereign. That's the definition of the Almighty, of God, the Trinity. They make the rules. Not you. Not me. And it's not my problem what you believe. I only have to bear witness to the truth, and I seek the truth. And if I get something wrong, I make changes. And I've made plenty in my life. Believe me, plenty. Okay, uh, here's Spain. A church with a nativity scene replaces Jesus with the drowned Syrian boy. Of course, no one wants to go after the money changers who... Uh, made this. See, this is a multi-level game here. And it's like Jesus said uh, that we don't uh, aren't aware and play the game as well as the other side. They're using our goodness and draconianly uh, with, and we'll get into a little more of that, but they caused, I mean People should be going to jail. Like the guy who got the Peace Prize, uh, Obama, he should be going to jail, and Clinton, and Republicans too, for what they've done to Syria. It's an absolute crime. Uh, the Vatican Commission to Christians. It's not your job to convert Jews. No, it's the Jews' job to convert themselves. It's a, pri it's a personal relationship. But we have to just bear witness to the truth and have discussion and dialogue with people. I, I mean, I'll talk with anyone. I mean, you can be an atheist and whatever. Like I said, it's not my problem. But we can talk to people. It's not, oh, just, and I, and, and I don't have to say, well, you can do whatever you want and everything is okay. Because that's not the truth. But all I can do is pray for people, warn people, and if they don't want to, you know, it's their life, free will. That's what it is. Uh, Muslims gather in UK towns on Christmas Eve to celebrate Muhammad's birthday. If you think this isn't a planned attack from the devil at the top, who no, who no one talks about, even traditional priests rarely talk about the devil. 
Rarely. Rarely. Um, and, and here they are teaching it in class. Uh, this is, uh, what is it? There is no God but Allah. They wouldn't tell them what they were writing. This isn't a public school. This isn't happening by accident. See, there's no separation of church and state. These people have taken it over. Get excited. Get mad. Find out what's going on. And get off your butt and do something. Holy mackerel. Because remember what Jesus does to lukewarm people. He spits you out of their mouth. And here we are, the rapes, of course. Oh, don't worry about it. Uh, the Swedish woman raped by refugee refuses to report it because she feels sorry for him. I mean, I am sorry. This is just ridiculous. And then this woman is harassed for identifying, for having the audacity to try to protect other people. And these clowns having their little die-in, refugees are welcome here, they don't have a clue what the game is. They couldn't talk their way out of a wet paper bag. And the, the mayor over there in Germany, women should prepare for mass rapes. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> how do you even say something so bizarre? Oh, that's right, that Baltimore mayor said, oh, just let them blow off a little steam and burn our town down. I mean, we're living in la-la land. Wake up! Holy mackerel! Now, here is a real hero. This 15-year-old boy was stabbed to death by an Arab migrant because he was protecting a young girl from a sexual assault. There still are real men in the world and real women. And it's time to stand up against these flakes who do nothing, who are gutless, who just talk and are flowery, and they sit up and are pompous. Well, you know what the second word is. I am so sick of these people. So tired of their baloney of their drivel and the world that is creating around just lie with us please we want to live in never never land the glass is half full amen brother every day I'm one day closer to Jesus but I'm sick of the glass being filled up with your baloney here in Minnesota students sing Allah Akbar during a public school concert Okay, research. Islam really is the world's most violent religion. No kidding. All you have to do is study their history, read the Quran. Of course, most Muslims don't read the Quran, just like most Christians don't read the Bible. You know, it's just uh, something they do. Ireland revokes protections for religious freedom in the wake of the gay marriage vote. That's what they're really using this about. They're using the homosexuals because, hey, the devil hates homosexuals. Just like he hates us. But, like the old adage says, misery loves company. Here's another great young man. The Zavon Dobson. He was doing really well in school. He protected three girls from shooters. He took the bullets for them. These are the kind of men, these are not the kind of men who are our preachers, who are our politicians, who are our leaders. They're more concerned about their flesh than anyone else's. I don't want them to hear you talk. You inflame them. You take them out of their comfort zone. If you don't get excited about what is going on, you better check yourself to see if you have a pulse. And you better worry when you stand before the man with the holes in his hands. Because let me tell you how this goes down for you folks. 
When you stand there, you don't say anything. You don't get to talk. It's not like here where you can say whatever you want and it has to be, it has the value at least of the air. Which is all most of it has for many of our leaders in all walks of life. This is another great story. A brain dead son enjoys Christmas after an armed dad refuses to let the medics end his life. I can think of a much better medical system than we have now, and I definitely do not think much of Obamacare, which the Catholic bishops supported, and many Catholics supported to get it in, and it is a hellhole, and the eugenicists run it. That's how it works. Oh, and Planned Parenthood is suing the activist who showed them selling body parts, laughing. And uh, because, of course, they need more money so they can do more abortions. Okay. If you don't get upset by that. And they openly say what they're going to do. Openly. This is right outside of Atlanta. I've personally been there. It exists. This isn't a theory. It's written in stone what they're going to do. And if you're a Catholic, a fellow named Benedict XVI in 2000, is a permanent link on my news website, said it's our duty to protest this because what is the very first, the New Ten Commandments, what's the very first one? Written in eight different languages. Set up on the equinox, you know, the little pagan thing. To maintain a population of under 500 million on the earth. Uh, just so the math is easy, that's over 90% of the people. Gotta go. Because while well, you're worried about CO2, <laughs> and of, of all the chemicals to be worried about, and of all the stuff in science that's going on right now, I guarantee you, CO2 is not the biggest problem we got. You do not know what's going on with radiation, with the genome. I mean, it's whack job land. No one's taking me up yet. And I'm doing this to set up, because as this goes on, uh, this is a very long, th this isn't going to be over anytime soon. And I'm just going to keep throwing it out there. Come on. Those of you who do not believe in the real presence of our Lord in the Eucharist, any day, your Bible and if you can't see that this is the time of revelation, well, no one's told you about this guy. Oh, we're marked first. For those of you who have never read the book, check it out. Start reading chapter 6. The angels have been sent to the four corners of the earth to hurt the earth. But first, we have to mark our people. You and I are not going to get marked like Father here. Uh, Father Zudak, S-U-D-A-C. If you want to look it up and find out more about it. The key to opening the book of Revelation is to look at it as Alpha and Omega, just as Jesus said. We're first and we're last. In the middle is their time. And as they say, a picture says a thousand words. Television is the devil's tabernacle. I keep warning people, I would not let your children watch TV without supervision. That's the only way. I mean, we do stuff every year about how demonic generally the uh, halftime shows and some of the commercials are doing it during the Super Bowl. And the Material Girl a few years ago said, yeah, the Super Bowl is mass and I'm going to give the homily. And she did with her little Bathomet uh, poses. Uh, Bathomet is uh, a demon. She knew what she was doing. And of course, uh, the, the climate change stuff goes on. I, I just keep looking at, at this picture and I go, now we've got articles coming up on that all the time. Oh, and there was a story in the, the draft. One of the drafts came out. It's totally pagan. You know, the Mother Earth coming out. Remember, we, we had that big warm spell uh, just before Christmas. Oh, here's a little bit of history. Stations over 60 degrees on Christmas Eve in 1955. Far more, far warmer in 1955. 
than it was. Get over it, these people lie about everything. And feel free to come after me if you want. Um, you know, I, I don't have a problem. We can go back and take a historical look at, at stuff, you know, about what's going on here. See, here it is. What? Nothing needs uh, an... See, noting the needs and integrity of terrestrial ecosystems, oceans, and Mother Earth. That's uh, the draft agreement from Paris. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember what Eisenhower said? I've got links to his farewell address. There's two primary paragraphs. Uh, it's, I have both a link to a video and uh, the written speech. So you can look at it. It's very short. There was one that through the allocation of money, people are bought off. That's been going on since time immemorial, being able to buy people off for money. There's nothing new under the sun. That's the Old Testament. And anyway, uh, to be not only aware of the military-industrial complex, because there's no money in peace for those guys, uh, then also, and I've done so much stuff about our founding fathers on that, and we got to get rolling. But he also talked about a scientific technological elite. Those who forget the past are doomed to repeat it. Uh, this is a great thing on Benghazi. I, I haven't uh, seen the movie. I'm going to, though. Uh, and I've, I've heard the guys speak on it, the three guys. They don't get into the larger picture, but they do uh, say that they were ordered to stand down, which they were. But they don't get into the larger picture. Uh, and, of course, the, the whole reason we were even in Benghazi and the whole Libyan uh, thing uh, was ridiculous. But they're preparing. This is a military operation. It's large. It's phased in. And we did stories about Jade Helm. That was definitely one of the biggest stories of last year, which the only reason the, some of the mainstream media covered it a little bit was because we in the alternative media pushed it out there. But they're... they're it's right in front of your face there. Mastering the human domain. Um, you know, and, and I've gone into stuff on that. You can, I do some research on it. Things are falling apart. This was a, a, an interesting story I came across. Someone abandoned three Boeing 747s at uh, Kuala Lumpur International Airport in Malaysia. Um, a woman stabbed at an upscale celeb art exhibit as onlookers think it's performance art. Uh, this is the making of jihadis. Um, it's, it's really that simple. Drone them. And actually we run it at the top and started uh, all this crap. But uh, they're used. Uh, confirmed ISIS targeting U.S. in the refugee program. I mean the head of the FBI even came on and said we can't. Texas just caught a refugee coming in and and I don't have a problem against helping them I'm totally for it most importantly though I'm for stopping bombing their country stop fomenting the civil war this is not organic it's controlled by the money changers Syria is one of the only countries in the world that wasn't or that isn't a part of the global banking system oh guess what Libya wasn't they are now Iraq wasn't they are now Afghanistan wasn't they are now you can look at uh, uh, that, that one general who even had the list uh, before the Arab Spring and before the Arab Spring for anyone who's uh, saw me before then we told you that it was coming before it happened not because from prophecy because it's a plan. It's a game plan. Uh, here's some more stuff. Oh, Paul Ryan uh, funds visas for 300,000 migrants. And they, he gets a standing ovation from the Republicans. Uh, what's this other one? Uh, Syrian. Oh yeah, the knife attack in the tube slashes a man's throat. I mean... Were you reassured by Obama's address on terrorism? You know, and all the Americans, well, except for one goofball who says sorta, all the others go, no. I mean, it's, and it's universal, whether you're a Hispanic, a black, Asian, 
white, whatever. If you're an American, unless you're an idiot, you weren't reassured by Obama, but ISIS was. Let us in. Let us have fun. And better, the best part about it is you're going to pay us to do it to you. I mean, talk about flipped out. Oh, yeah, and here's an article. Uh, this Fatah music video, Drown Israelis in a Sea of Blood. And you, you wonder why there's problems. They've been fighting for thousands of years. Here's just some quickie pictures of Syria. Before and afters. Um, a, a complete disgrace. War crimes. Obama, the Peace Prize winner, should not only be get, giving it back, he should be putting his butt in jail. But you know what they'll probably do? Hell, they'll probably put him in charge of the UN. Oh, man. And of course, that Iranian deal, that was a good deal. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I trust them. Of course. I'm, and, and Obama's just the latest flake. I mean, Cheney was every bit as bad. They're working on the internet. They're working to close down this stuff. More and more control. I remember they, they told Matt Drudge, one of the men on the Supreme Court, told him, we have the votes now to shut you down. And so they're going to come after it with some fake uh, copyright stuff. Let's see. And uh, here's another little thing on the... Uh, the voting machines. It counts your vote before you even pull the lever. Wow! <laughs> because there was voter fraud in all the last major election cycles. And we've talked before about Agenda 21. The UN just came out with 2030 Agenda. Uh, you can also look up, if you want to look up a, a YouTube video that they did, the other side, the dark side, called 2045. Or if you really want to see an interesting one from a top physicist, uh, we'll become gods. It's only 38 seconds long. And you can, we'll become gods. Yeah. Fukushima, the radiation. No, no, it's CO2 that, that we exhale and plants breathe. And, and when the plants breathe our CO2, they don't become mutants. When we breathe radiation... We're being bathed in radiation. Fluoride. I mean, they're talking about uh, this fluoride stuff, and or they're not, I should say, talking about it. But in Flint, they're talking about you know this big water poisoning, as bad as that is. But but we're poisoning ourselves. I mean, openly. I mean, that, that, this is toxic by ingestion, drinking it. It's ingestion, and th this is the best part. <laughs> I mean, uh, this is how over the top it is. One of the target organs is your teeth, and of course your nervous system. Uh, Harvard did that big study a, f a few years ago because one of the things they're uh, complaining about, and rightly so, in Flint, is uh, the brain damage that the lead does. But hey, what about the brain damage from the fluoride? from drinking the water. Oh, don't worry about that. That's okay. We've decided that's okay. Just be quiet. Don't cause a stir. Just shut up and drink it. It's good for you. And that's like when people on the island ask me, um, you know, oh, is this affecting you, the, the boil bath? I said, I don't drink the poison. Yeah, I don't even like bathing in this stuff. I mean, I... I, I have a filter even on that, but, uh, but it's not that good. Uh, I, I really do not like the water at all. And I, I surely wouldn't uh, be giving it to a child. You can buy inexpensive filters uh, and drink that. Fluoride could give you bone cancer. Here's from the Daily Mail. Uh, claim experts as they call for a halt to adding the chemical to drinking water. Uh, and this is a guy openly wrote a book saying that they were going to hurt us, you know, through diet injections. I mean, Codex Alimentarius, you probably, you know, if you've watched his show, I mentioned it a few times. 
but that's a, a plan that's been going on for over 50 years uh, for the for the food to control it all injections I mean look at how much they're pushing injections everywhere compared to even just five years ago and they're starting to make it mandatory that's the really scary part oh you know you guys that don't get it you're infecting us no you're getting infected because you're taking it you moron but but that's what it says it says that uh, you know they'll be able to mold us and that uh, for most people they, they won't be able to resist and so I you know that's why I don't get excited um, I feel sorry for people who who just won't do anything because some people just can't handle it but there are plenty if you're a leader that's why I get excited about leaders who do nothing see because you're worshiping your petty power your petty power here on earth and especially you folks in the clergy who are silent our mother warned us 400 years ago 400 years ago and all throughout since then she's been pointing to our leaders and the clergy especially being quiet because the clergy are held above everyone you are exalted. You are the anointed. But you are also held to a higher standard. As am I for speaking out. That's why I've done a lot of research and when I find a mistake, I make a change. I urge you to contemplate that. The Puppet Masters, we've got a great little uh, video here about five minutes before we uh, get into stuff and you can see the stuff that I spoke about well actually about eight years ago even before the first crisis I laid out what was coming up now what we see happening right now uh, with the monetary systems because it's it's not rocket science they they put all these things on it to distract you like a good magician but it's really very very simple very straightforward here's this uh video the titanic we all know as the global economy appears to be moving along at full speed but signs of sea ice are dead ahead. The first alarm bells have been sounded from several economists that know to look for the most subtle signs of danger of a global economic collapse. We have a bubble around the world in demographic spending, which keeps declining in more countries. And we can predict this by country. Japan was the first to peak, and then the US and now Europe. But we also have the greatest debt bubble in modern history, two to four times what we've seen back in the Roaring Twenties, last time we had a debt bubble. And all we need, like in 2008 with the subprime crisis, is a trigger to cause this debt bubble to reset and, and deleverage, or what I call a financial detox. And when you go south of the border, even below Mexico way, it's currency crisis after currency crisis, commodity crash after commodity crash. Current events form future trends. What happened yesterday over in Brazil? Well, they had a wonderful time. About a half a million people turned out to protest against the government. How come? Well, they're in a recession. Inflation is skyrocketing and the currency is plummeting. Is the economy moving? The Baltic Dry Index has hit a new low. The Baltic Dry Index is the assessment of the price of moving all of the globe's major raw materials by sea, including commodities like coal, grain, and iron ore. Tyler Durden of Zero Hedge reports, Last week I received news from a contact who is friends with one of the biggest billionaire shipping families in the world. He told me they had no ships at sea right now because operating them meant running at a loss. Commerce between Europe and North America has literally come to a halt for the first time in known history. Not one cargo ship is in transit in the North Atlantic between Europe and North America. All of them. Hundreds are either anchored offshore or in port. Nothing is moving. 
It is a horrific economic sign, proof that commerce has literally stopped. The very Chinese shipyards supplying the needed vessels to transport the world's raw materials are going bankrupt due to the struggling economies across the globe. According to Global Times, experts have said that half of China's shipbuilding enterprises will go bankrupt in the coming years. Other signs of a sinking ship? Graham Summers of Zero Hedge reports that the bursting of the bond bubble has begun. The bond bubble was close to 80 trillion in size going into 2008. Globally, the bond bubble has grown by more than 20 trillion since 2008. Today, it is north of 100 trillion with an additional 555 plus trillion in derivatives. Globally, over 50% of all corporate bonds are now junk. In the UK, you have uh, the ability to sell the same bond an infinite number of times. In, in the United States, you're limited. You can't sell the same bond an infinite number of times. You can sell it a few times and claim that it has a collateral value. But in the UK, and this is why all of the major banks and all the major countries, treasuries, outsource their fraud to the UK. This is why the UK is responsible for the Lehman collapse, the AIG collapse, the Bernie Madoff collapse, the London whale from JP Morgan collapse, because everyone outsources their fraud to the UK because the UK is where you can commit egregious, fraudulent financial behavior. The Dow Jones has lost 1,500 points in 10 days and still has a lot further to fall. The fragility of the markets are worse than pre-2008. One minor trigger could send the globe into at the very least yet another major recession. Regardless, Obama will hear none of that. Anyone claiming that America's economy is in decline is peddling fiction. John Bound for Infowars.com. And so, um, you know, I, I was talking to uh, a brother-in-law. Oh, yeah. And this was like last fall. So really before, but you could really start seeing the signs. I mean, unless you weren't looking. But, oh, yeah, you know, it might go down 20, 30 percent. Yeah, but then it'll come back. I, I went, I don't think so. But, yeah, I mean, look at the metrics. And we even went to that show. It's a it's a pretty good show. Um, the, the big short. It doesn't go to the top. I was trying to tell some of the younger people that were that went to the movie with us, and, and they're starting to get worried because they're not buying the crap that the older people are saying, who are just, eh, you know, and because they're looking at a mountain that they're looking at, man, and it ain't pretty what they what they got to face. Um, but it's like I tell people, they always say, oh well, you know that my kids will have to deal with that, and I say, well, you better hurry up and die. Because uh, it's actually going on right now, uh, quite frankly. You're about to lose a ton of money. Matter of fact, a lot of people, I was talking to a guy at work, he said he's lost 30% of his money this year. And he's sort of awake, even. I mean, I've been warning people to have an exit strategy, to know what you're doing. They aren't as arrogant as the last time. This is a funny uh, little graph on uh, Keynesian economics. Uh, increasing, lesson one, increasing the currency supply creates economic growth. Well, actually it would if it, I mean, if it was used properly. But that's the problem. It's, I mean, it's funny that, you know, the Democrats pretend like they don't do trickle-down economics when in reality they're the biggest trickle-down economics that there is. Because look at the consolidation of growth. Everyone knows the Republicans are just for the, the rich primarily and go, well, you know, we make it good for everyone. And to some degree that is well, but it could be so, we could be so much better than we are now. Spending is all that matters. Savings are harmful to a growing economy. Well, no. People need to be fiscally responsible. Uh, price decreases are harmful to consumption and economic growth. <laughs> well, believe me, we're going to have some big price decreases here coming up. War, natural disasters, and destruction boost economic growth. That's uh, the old story that they always say. I mean, the system is just so pathetic. 
it would be so easy except that people are so greedy but you don't want god especially here in the northwest you get the other guy there's only two sides uh, zero hedge is a, a really good um, site to go to i pull stuff off of his, uh, his stuff pretty much uh, every time and this is from the atlanta fed uh, apologizes for a late day data release nothing more nefarious than technical difficulties which we believe have been resolved uh, that's because they didn't want things to tank and the the government through the people the plunge protection team is supporting the market right now or it'd be crashing every bit as uh, much as in Asia and they've had to suspend trading over there in Asia uh, this is the shipping there's no shipping and this is an old number coming down to 632 uh, reported it was in the low 400s the last number was in the um, the high 300s it's some of the lowest numbers ever recorded um, yeah here's one see the 394 and we've had some reports reports that supposedly in the north atlantic there's nothing moving i mean it's it's getting crazy now walmart closes 270 stores and the dow goes down another 400 points uh this is one of the 20th largest banks uh the bank of scotland says sell everything well yeah it, i mean this is a high this was is a time to sell your house and actually get out because it's coming down sell your house get out and there's going to be a bunch of good deals next year probably even by the end of this year but definitely by next year you'll, you'll be feeling it uh and you know the stock market's so rigged if you know how to do puts you can make money on the way down a uh, lot that's what that's what an economic collapse is it's just a transfer of wealth and that's what's been going on we've been in we're in a an economic collapse banks of the entire nation are closed for a brief holiday now this is from the 30s now look at the price of the paper three cents talk about devaluation of your dollar of your money but and all inflation isn't bad because by uh, things being getting used to making more money we're able to have more things because let's face it for three cents you couldn't have uh, computers and, and stuff like and stuff like that so there's a lot of you know but it's not that complicated for everyone or not it's never going to be a perfect system but to have a much more equitable and fair system now and the most important thing for that is to have a free an open internet and net neutrality where people can get out and expose things um, but remember I've told you before Ben Bernanke gave that speech to the bankers just before he became head of the Fed and the only thing he didn't do is the bank holiday and I've uh, been telling you that for a long time that that's something that's coming there's going to be a, a, a bank holiday our money is going to be devalued and that won't be pretty it won't really affect us like so much right when it happens but there's going to be bail-ins until we they're going to take everything until we stand up and say no that's how much they're going to take the uh, it was either washington i think it was washington who said the amount of tyranny you're going to live under is the amount you're going to put up with that's how the world has always worked and see the saudis are moving we were their buddies well now they're moving in with china you know who's ever got the hot hand uh, don't let them stick a chip in you this was this was a, an actual report that was done 10 years ago in 2007 um, and we, we do updates uh, and just show it how it's just it's not going to be the mark of the beast initially and it may not be the final mark of the beast but it's part of a track and control system and they're going to sell it to you as something good and, and here's like one thing. This man uses a microchip implanted in his hand to pass through airport security. Um, you know, this is the kind of stuff that's going to happen. Uh, 
You don't hear anybody talking about 9-11. But yet that's why we all the wars supposedly are. The day the, the, the earth, the world changed. No, it didn't change. It was just part of their plan. Uh, this is a building that nobody, nothing hit. But it magically fell down. Oh, don't worry about it. Conspiracy theory. Buildings that are 500 feet tall, 47 stories, they fall down all the time. What are you talking about? Here's, uh, I think it's like over 2,500 now, architects and engineers who've put their livelihood on the line and said, hey, we need a real investigation. What you're saying is physically impossible. You know, it's science. I mean, everyone's so interested in science. Don't you know the science? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I was really good in science and math. Don't get involved in this fake left-right paradigm. False flag operations, they've worked for over a thousand years. They've gotten uh, really good. One thing as we're leaving uh, the economic uh, side here that I wanted to mention. Remember earlier I talked about Ron Paul? And uh, we caught him by surprise in 2008. And Ron should have gone all the way. But uh, I, that's a longer story. I actually talked to, to him personally and stuff. Uh, but, back then, but uh, they were able to neutralize him in 2012, and they neutralized his son uh, this time around. And one of the big stories should have been his audit, the Fed bill. It actually passed, but they made a rule that, oh, it's got to have a supermajority of 60. And it only had 53 uh, senators vote for it. If the people knew what was, that's what Henry Ford said. Fortunately, that the people do not understand their economic system, there would be a revolution tomorrow morning. Look it up. Take a look outside the frying pan. The heat is on. Um, and, and it's like uh, a gentleman said, Hitler said, fortunately for leaders, that their people are unwilling to think. Um, Bertrand Russell said, people would rather die than think. And he said, they do. And, and that's what the truth is. We're dying now. They're killing us with quiet weapons for silent wars. Or silent weapons for quiet wars. However you want to look at it. The take-home message from 9-11 it was the anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi's very first protest. You want to know what's coming? Protests are coming. Because... As Carol Quigley said, he was Bill Clinton's mentor, a famous historian, wrote a book about a tra tragedy and hope, where, uh, and he said that the people will wake up when the velvet glove comes off the iron fist. And uh, that's what's nearing, that's what's coming. We are almost there. So I would urge you to do something. If any of this is new for you, all you have to do is, you can tell people about this show. You can point people to my website. Get yourself educated. I've got hundreds of hours of free documentaries and, and other information. And uh, we'll be coming up to the most important thing. Uh, we must be the change that we wish to see in the world. And this has to be a revolution of love. I mean, somebody got excited because, oh, love is written backwards. Well, it's, it's a part of the word. That's how it is. But you can see, we're going to turn it around. We're going to turn it around and put some love instead of the hate. Remember, good is called evil. Evil is called good. This is what's going on right now in our world. Right in front of our eyes. I mean, raping women. I mean, I don't agree with dr dressing scantily, but first of all, if it's winter over there in Germany, it's not that warm out, so they're not dressing that scantily. They're, they've got clo coats on and stuff. But, um, but irregardless, stop the violence. Love. That's what the world needs now. Seek the truth. And bear witness to it. 
Because Jesus sees what's going on. There will be change. The more that He has to do, the worse it will be for us. He gives us a grace to deal with these trials. Remember, He didn't promise you a rose garden. It's called a cross. It's not called comfortable. And there's two T's in truth. The first T is to seek the truth. The second T, or the second cross, is to deal with it. And that's the most important one. Remember, the lukewarm, he spits out of his mouth. And as Dante said from Dante's Inferno, uh, the hottest places in hell are reserved for those in a time of crisis who do nothing. And let me, ex let me explain it to you. We're in a crisis. So if you're not doing something, you better be worried. Because at the very least, or at the, actually at the very best that you can hope for is to be called the least in heaven. And I'm talking about people who are the exalted ones now. You had better be worried. And you better make some changes. Put that cross on your back. Stop giving it to other people to carry. Catholics stand with Pam Parenthood. I mean, I, I just don't even know what to say about that. You know, I don't know what to say about this. What was her choice? This is a little girl. What was her choice? There's no, nothing going on that's so pressing that you could not wait and give the child up for adoption. Nothing. Prayer and fasting can change the world. And without God, you know, you're, you're, you're definitely not going to be as effective as you could be. And, and it will be varying degrees as to, because He gave us a peace plan. But we wanted to go our own way. Anyway, check out more information from my website. Uh, there's Drudge, Zero Hedge, Infowars.com. Uh, that's one simple thing you can do. Uh, you can also tell people about my show Thursday, 8 to 9, Friday, 1 to 2 in the afternoon. I'm also on at midnight. Uh, you can write me a letter, uh, you can contact me. Now, all this information is on my website. Uh, and remember what my Sioux brothers say, Matakawe we seen, we are all related. And may God bless you and keep you and your family and uh, bring you into His kingdom. Because that's where we all belong. Bec because this molecule is in every cell of our body, the cross. Look it up, laminate. Goodbye.